Hello you maniacs! Rocky Harder back here and I am so amped. Um, I just got back from the gym, number one. And number two, I found out that Motley Crue is coming back. I mean, I'm a die-hard Motley Crue fan, love them, uh, I've listened to them for, uh, for a long time man, and um, just consume everything they ever released, you know. And and I just saw that they, they blew up the, the contract, you know. Yeah. Oh, they signed that contract that they weren't going to perform anymore and I thought that was just... I mean, I kind of thought it was bogus, you know, these farewell tours are usually kind of bogus. Um, and I, but I was hoping, I was hoping that it was, you know, because I mean these guys still have, I think some some juice left in the tank. I think they can go on for another couple of years or so, you know. And and I mean they've always just made some really killer music, you know. And we need some of that. We need some some good music, some some good old fashioned rock and roll, and you know. So I'm very excited. Um, of course, there are a few things that, uh, I don't know if you've been following the story, but there's a few things that need to happen first, and I think that's uh, Vince Neil needs to get into shape and uh, try and sort out his, his singing, because uh, it's kind of been off. And I understand that, you know, we want... If this is going to happen, Motley Crue needs to be at their best. They can't be coming back from from something that they said, you know, they would never tour again. Uh, they're coming back, so it can't be it can't be rubbish, man. It's got to be it's got to be solid. It's got to be solid playing, and they've got to they've got to tighten up. And Vince has has definitely got to uh, sort himself out. So. But I'm excited. So I, so I, you know, I thought to celebrate, I'm going to, I'm going to do a Motley Crue video just for the, just for the heck of it. Now I've seen, you know, I've seen all the videos. I've seen all the videos um, countless times, except for one, um, Saints of Los Angeles. I, I think I might have seen it ten years ago, to be honest with you, uh, once, and that's about it. Um, so, so I'm going to get right into it. I'm so amped. Let's go, let's go. This was a killer song, man. Let's rock it! Tommy Lee, McMars, and Nicky Six. Vince Neil. He, he still sounded great back there. I think he. He really pulled us off. Wow. I'm so excited they're coming back, man. You know, one thing that I've always wanted, I've never got to experience a release, you know, an official album release by Motley Crue because, you know, I'm still, I'm old, but I'm, I'm young. <laughs> so, I, you know, I didn't really grow up with Motley Crue. I started listening to them maybe like 15 years ago or so and I never experienced, I think this was released, I'm not too sure when this album was released, I think 2008-ish, but I think I started listening to them sort of after that and I never experienced a Motley Crue album release, you know, so I'm really hoping that maybe that they would do it, you know, that, that this will kind of bring that out of them because they've They've just made those songs for the Dirt, the movie, and 
if they could come together and write a full album again, that would be that would be epic. That would just that would be the the cherry on the cake, you know. Please, please, Motley Crue, let's do it. Of Los Angeles. Bad boys of rock and roll, man. I love this band. You know what I love about Marty Crew? You know what I love about Marty Crew is that they just have stories to tell. They have stories to tell, and this this song is just like full of stories, like just shit that they've done in the past man you know like people people don't have stories like this you know like four guys that can just come together and just tell stories like all the all the crap they got up to and all the all the craziness man that's that's what i love about Motley crew they're just full of stories and great music Mick Mars. You know, one thing about Mick Mars, even though, you know, he's got he's got his problems, man. He's got he's got this that disease. But he's never he's never let it get the better of him. I respect that so much. Mick Mars, like hats off, man. Mick Mars, I have so much respect for. You know, he's never ever in his entire career let that disease get the better of him. He's always been able to play and play so well. Love Mick Mars. <laughs> I wonder how many times Tommy Lee has been slapped in the face like that. <laughs> Oh, I forgot, I forgot about this. I totally forgot that they had uh, Papa Roach. I think this is the guy from Papa Roach doing, doing backups, yeah. That was cool. I think, that, I think it was really cool. I kind of liked Papa Roach. Yes, Motley Crue, you beautiful band. I'm so amped. I'm so happy that this is happening. Like, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of people out there who think, ah, oh, you know, they're just trying to milk the cow and there's money on the table. But so what, man? So what, who cares? You know, we need good music. We need, these kind of bands just need to go on for as long as possible. You know, as long as they're not writing crap music as long as they're still like sticking to their roots and just writing good rock and roll that's what we need you know i love it i mean i'm gonna be listening to this band no matter what i don't care what anyone says um die hard crew fan for life so let me know what you guys think is this something that uh you know are you excited are you irritated are you like just or whatever you know do you even care is motley crew part of your life or do you just wish they you know, they would cease to exist. In the end, it doesn't matter really. I mean, we we all have 
different tastes, but you know, it's it's always it's always nice to have to have that band that that you know you just you just feel just feel something that you can't explain every time you listen to them or watch a music video or you hear something going on in their camp for them they're coming out with a new album or whatever it is it's just, it's just a great thing to have in life so anyway thank you for watching let me know your thoughts um, always always happy to to get involved with uh, with the community on this so please let me know and i'll see you guys tomorrow cheers